What's up guys, Ryan here with FX Projections and today we're going to do a projector comparison video on the house behind me here using three different projectors. So here is my setup. Um, we will be using these three projectors running off my laptop back there which has Mad Mapper which is luckily able to output to all three of these projectors. Um, so projector number one, we got the brand new Epson L210. Uh, this is a 4000 lumen uh, laser projector with a throw ratio of 0.45 to 1. Next up, just a little bit farther back, we have the also brand new Optima GT2100 HDR. This guy is 4200 lumens and uh, is laser as well. And this guy has a throw ratio of 0.5 to 1. Now, I know the Optima 1090s are really popular. I guess those were discontinued. This has now taken the place of that. And then lastly back here, we got the ViewSonic PX706HD. This guy has, uh, it's a, it's a 3000 lumen projector. It's not laser like the other two. And the throw shell on this is 0.6921. Now, I will say, these two projectors, they are brand new, just got out of the box, um, so they have zero hours on them, whereas the ViewSonic back here, this has roughly 200 hours, give or take. Now, I know details are important. Um, I have not changed any of the settings on any of these. They, uh, the brightness and contrast, they're right where they're at, and as far as the uh, mode they're on, it's just standard on all three of these guys. I didn't change it to gaming or presentation or anything like that, which, you know, definitely can help increase the show, but... Yeah, I, I wanted a fair comparison video here, and that's what I'm going to give you here. So now it's starting to get dark out. Let's make some magic. All right, so here it is on the Mad Mapper program. This little left square here is the ViewSonic, which I'm not showing right this second. But on the left side, you've got the Optima. And then over here on the right side, you've got the Epson. Now, right there, just that alone, you can see quite a big difference. I'm going to let this play out here. No, let's do the audio. Now, the funny thing to me is the Optima is 200 lumens more, but that Epson definitely a big difference now I don't know if it's very visible or not but to me there is a clear night and day difference in the colors that the three LCD that the Epson produces is, shows it just it's a massive difference So like right here, you can see a massive difference on the colors that the Epson on the right here has versus the Optima on the left. That is the power of three LCD versus a DLP projector. Now truth be told, they're both very impressive, but in the long run, my biggest goal was to show the difference between the Epson and the Optima. Now in a second, I'll switch over here to the ViewSonic. Alright, so in this one, you got the ViewSonic on the left, which is the 3000 lumen one, versus on the right, you got the Optima, the 4200 lumen. I gotta be honest with you, I don't know. I would definitely think on the right side, with the Optima, that, that should be a no-brainer. That should definitely be quite a bit more. Now, this might not be the best video. Let me, let me change the video up here. I feel like here, it's a better comparison. I wouldn't say by much at all, but I, I would say the Optima does beat out the, uh, the ViewSonic. Just looking at the trim, that, that, that's really the best way of going about it. Ah, you tell me, what do you guys think? 
All right, so on the computer on the left, I got the ViewSonic, the Optima in the middle, and the Epson on the right. Now, right, right there, there's a small line. That's the ViewSonic, Optima, and then this side, you can barely see the line there. That is the Epson. Okay, I'll get close before I play the video. Epson obviously looks a lot better. But then going between, where's the line? There's the line. So here is, right here is the Optima and then the ViewSonic, which there is a difference. The Optima is definitely a lot better than the ViewSonic, but I mean, it's not, not definitely, it's not as much as I was expecting. Now let me go ahead and play this. And sometimes the easiest way is just looking at the trim. Yeah, obviously the right side, the, the Epson's definitely got it. Between these two, between the ViewSonic on the left and the Optima in the middle, I, I do go back and forth on times. I think it depends maybe on the color and all that, but... But yeah, no, definitely, the Optima's got by a bit. Epson on the right, Optima in the middle, and ViewSonic on the left. So on the left side here, you got the Optima. Right side, you got the Epson. Let's go ahead and play this through. Even just the green fog on the bomb. That's the Epson. Optima. Hands down, those colors. I gotta be honest with you, I'm quite disappointed. I was really expecting quite a bit more from this Optima here. Got the Epson over there, and then Optima. Now, as far as this test goes, they're, they're pretty much the same. I'd expect the whites to pretty much look identical. Now, I'm going to kind of change the colors up here a little bit. Just look how much better those reds are from the Epson. 3 LCD, baby. Right, let's get a, a more of a yellowish. Oh, such a big difference. How about green? Just night and day to me. Big difference there. Now, while I'm at it, I might as well do, these aren't stacked and aligned correctly. That wasn't the point of this video. The, these are all, you know, different throw ratios, all kind of in just different orders. As you can see down here, you got the two right there and then the one 
right here next to me. But if you want to see the difference of kind of a stacking job to an extent, so this is one projector. This is starting off with the Epson, but here's one, two, three. Now, as I said, this isn't going to be aligned correctly, but that right there is how bright three of these are, which in total, uh, let's see here, you got four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you got 11,200 lumens right here. Now I'm going to walk back just to give you more of an idea. Here, let's take a little look around the neighborhood. That is my house. God, that's bright. That is beautiful.